everyone welcome back to my channel today I want to show you how I make my obolo soup so here I have my sliced fresh pepper I have my maggi cube so this is the cube I'm using so I have my crayfish Grounded one. I have my grounded or below. As you can see it or grounded. Here I have my mates. This is my good mate. My chicken. And my beef. So here I have my shorts. You can use any meat of your choice, whatever you have in your home, but this is the one I'm using. And here I have my palm oil. As you can see, this is the one I got. So let's jump right into it. So it's very simple and it's really delicious. So if you want to know how I will get to achieve this, please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and leave me a comment below on what you want to see from me next time. So let's get cooking. So I'm going to go on and steam my goat meat. As you can see, I add no water in it. It's best you steam your goat meat with a water. Like that, the water is going to come out of the goat meat and steam it. And goat meat are usually tough. So you want to take your time and steam it properly. So I had my meat properly washed with salt, which is very healthy because of some and jumps you never can tell you never know so I'll go on and have the goat meat steam for about 20 minutes before I add my beef and chicken so I'm gonna go ahead and add a pinch of salt then add my maggi cube Just set it properly. Then I'm gonna let it simmer for 30 minutes because cut meats are usually tough. You want it more soggy and tasteful. So let's check how our goat meat is doing. So as you can see, the goat meat has produced its water. If you add water when cooking the goat meat, the water is going to dilute the flavor, which you wouldn't want that. So this is how it came out. So I'm going to go on and add my beef. This is my beef. Then add my pieces of chicken. You don't cook your chicken with your goat meat because you have to cook the goat meat for a while to get soft, soaky. Okay, so. This is how. This is it. I'll go on and add some, some of my flavors. I'm gonna let it simmer for 10 minutes, then I'll be right back. So guys, this is it. You can see 
can see the meat produce its water. So I'm gonna go on and add my sliced fresh pepper. Then stir it properly. So this is how my meat is doing. As you can see, it's all steamed up. I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of water. I run out of stock. I run out of chicken stock. So I'll just add a bit of water, not too much. Stir it again properly. All right, at this stage, I will add my obolo. So I will stir it properly again. Make sure you properly stir them up. So at this stage, I, I have to leave it to simmer about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Then I'll get back and check how it's doing. Gracious God, guys, you can see how my umbrella is doing, doing so well. Wow. <laughs> my soup is doing so well, so I'm going to go on and add my spinach. Oh guys <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm gonna add my palm oil So I'll stir it properly At this stage, this is the last stage of my soup so I just let it simmer again for for ten minutes. So guys, this is how I make my abalone soup. The soup is so delicious and yummy. As you can see. Oh my god, this is so tempting. It's simple and delicious. I bet you're gonna enjoy it. So I hope you find this video valued and I hope you enjoy watching it. If you do, please don't forget to thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment in what you want to see from me next time and I will see you again.